I know this is going to sound a bit like a boomer take, but man, am I glad back in the day we didn't have social media. I couldn't even imagine. Oh my God. Not even just for myself and how I would look back and cringe at so many damn things, but I couldn't imagine like some of the people I looked up to in terms of athletes, like public figures, actors, etc. Could you imagine some of the cringeworthy shit they would do? I, I can't even begin to imagine. Um, and cringe, on that note, certainly epitomizes Tony Khan's Twitter behavior this week. Now, I know that folks are often quick to throw out the er Herb Abrams comparisons, talk about Tony Khan and the booger sugar and all this other shit, and I'm not going to do that. I'm not. Because I actually respect the dude's hustle. He's got a ton of energy. If everybody could approach life with the passion, the energy, the zest, the zeal for shit that Tony Khan does, so many more people would be so much more successful with their lives. Let's just say how it is. Now, you might retort and say, well, what would you expect he's going to be able to do? I mean, he didn't really have to work hard growing up. He sat there and inherited a shit ton of money and had it kick open a bunch of opportunities for you. It absolutely do, did. Nepotism rules the fucking world. That's the reality of it. And you see that nepotism manifesting in this petulant man-child's behavior the past couple of days. Like, look. You know, the whole debate about whether it's okay to take pot shots at WWE, whatever. I don't give a fuck. But the manner and approach which this man, who like me is in his early 40s, but the big difference is he's worth a couple bill. The behavior that this man has demonstrated is incredibly unbecoming for him, his family name, the talent in AEW, the company as a whole, and everybody that does business with Tony Khan in AEW. And anybody, and I mean anybody, at this point in time, that is trying to defend or justify or excuse this bratty bitch boy's behavior over the past couple of days should be knocked relentlessly. You could be a huge Tony Khan fan and advocate and supporter and be able to acknowledge, Tony, maybe it's time to take a deep breath and log off the tweeting device for a little while. Because this shit is counterproductive. It makes you look like a fucking moron. And anybody that would sit there and ravenously support you look like a moron. And what I don't really get here is why Tony Khan is so bent out of shape, so pissed, and so butthurt. Because if anything, what's got him pissed off this week is a monster of his own fucking creation. Last time I checked, he's the one that made the choice to run Dynamite this week on Tuesday. They could have chosen a different date, a different time slot. He's the one that went with Tuesday night head up against NXT. So you go into the opposing company's time slot, their night, and now you're mad? Because they're going to come back and say, hey, we're going to throw John Cena at this shit. We're going to throw Undertaker at this shit. We're going to throw this at this. We're going to throw that at that. Why the fuck would you be surprised? And why are you playing the fucking victim? In this particular case, frankly, you were the one that was acting petty like a Vince McMahon would. You were the one that was trying to undercut your competition like Vince McMahon would. Except you fucking failed at it. I mean, my God, this dude sits there, Tuesday night happens, and then you see the ratings. And you can't spin them positively, right? NXT beat AEW Dynamite in both total viewers and in the Dave demo. Beat them ass kicking all the way around, right? Ass kicking. Shit happens. Deal with it, right? Well... Leaders and winners, here's the thing, they accept accountability. Losers and brats deflect responsibility. 
And that's exactly what the fuck you're seeing here. Like this guy is vanity searching for himself. You know, there was a guy talking about, you know, Vince has the right to take the pot shots he's earned. That is whatever. He said, Vince, he said, Tony Khan is Vince if you ordered him from Temu. Uh, at the Neoism is the Twitter handle. Tony Khan responds because he vanity searched and he quote tweeted it. Yes, Vince has allegedly used his power and influence to shoot a lot of shots. <laughs> like, what the fuck is wrong with you, dude? It'd be one thing if Vince McMahon was going out and trashing you publicly. It would be one thing if he was sitting there and talking about you and throwing out unfounded allegations and this and that and everything else, but he's not doing any of that. He's sitting there growing creepy ass pedo mustaches and trying to scam Endeavor stockholders for a few billion dollars worth of net value. Like what the fuck? This is the guy in charge of AEW. And there's more shit like this, right? If this was a publicly traded company, thank God it's not. If this was a publicly traded company, the behavior of Tony Khan the past couple of days would lead to him at least being suspended by the board, most likely, and potentially fired. Like the whole shit talking about this tweet. This week, two active decades-long rating streaks from two great legends with, were rendered. With all due respect, until this week's head-to-head -head AEW on TBS versus WWE on e USA, Neither John Cena or nor Undertaker have ever been on a WWE show with under 100 million total or 1 million total viewers and under 400,000 in the demo. I bet if you went back and watched, looked at an old uh, tribute to the troops, that might not be true. Um, however, ignore that for just a second. Okay, so they brought these guys in and they did under a million viewers. Leave that to the fanboys like me to fucking talk about. It's incredibly unbecoming for the leader of an opposing wrestling promotion who frankly has his own shit that he should be fucking worried about. Furthermore, if we want to go there, if we want to go there, I can't remember the last time that Adam Copeland wrestled on national television in front of less than 700,000 viewers. Again, instead of being a real leader and having a winner's mindset, and accepting accountability, he is trying to deflect responsibility. That's what petulant brats do. That's the loser mindset. And no wonder he was getting criticized and crucified on social media. He fucking should be. And then to top it off, today, he knows exactly what the fuck he was doing. This is what so often happens. Somebody gets a lot of heat from social media of their own fucking doing. They can't stand the heat. So instead of trying to get out of the kitchen, they try to spray with a fire extinguisher and they bring in the sympathy card and this pathetic ass thing about, oh my God, my mom, one year ago, the Mayo Clinic saved your life. During your ordeal, many AEW talent came to me alleging WWE tampering, inducing them to break their contracts. I'll never forget these phone calls at her side of the hospital. It's when business became personal for me. This is nothing new and all this other bullshit. He just can't accept failure. He can't accept that he made a mistake. He can't accept that he's screwing up and that he's fucking up. How the hell do you go from all the people that you had at All In in Wembley a little over a month ago to now it is nothing but drama and bullshit when people talk about your damn company. These are not good things, dude. I've seen tweets where apparently you're DMing fans to go at them because they criticize you about the quarters angle on freaking Dynamite. Like, what the fuck is wrong with this dude? All of this energy wasted that could be focused on making his product better at a time, frankly, when it needs that energy and that focus. It feels like the calls for help from a guy that deep down knows he's in over his head and he feels like he's living in a house of cars and just waiting for this shit to tumble down. It doesn't have to be like this. But damn, at some point in time, you're going to alienate a lot of damn people. 
And I can't imagine right now wanting to be a talent in AEW and looking at it and say, yeah, that's my dude. I'm proud of him. He ought to be ashamed and embarrassed. How could you not be? This guy's going around acting like a goddamn toddler who didn't get his cookie before bedtime. Fucking talking shit about seeing an Undertaker. Oh, I agree. Like, throw all that in NXT, couldn't even get a million? That is absolutely fucking pathetic. Again, let the fanboys that aren't in charge of AEW shit talk that. The guy in charge of AEW should not be bringing that up. This has got, like, Eric Bischoff late 90s levels of patheticism to it. Especially when I can never remember or recall a match on national TV with Adam Copeland doing under 700,000 viewers. But yet, here you fucking are. You somehow managed to make that fucking happen. How does that happen? Worry about that. Worry about how a month plus after All In, nobody's talking about your actual product. It's all about controversy, drama, and bullshit. Worry about that. Taking to Twitter and then trying to play the victim. It's typical bully behavior. You sit there, come out swinging when you know that somebody's not going to fight back. And then when others come to the rescue or come to the aid of the afflicted party and they put up a spirited defense and they push back against you, now all of a sudden it's the bully that's the fucking victim. I swear it's like a goddamn politician. Khan should run for president at some point. Just saying. But, oh, the WWE avatar accounts. You brought this shit upon yourself. Act like a professional. Act like a professional. It's not that hard. 